and Bayonetta, though she may not be the bait she once was, she loves comboing big characters. One, yep. Go. And right off the bat, they're going to be starting on PS2. Um, I feel like this is an interesting stage choice. Not This is not a stage that they'll normally prefer to go to. You normally like to start on Kalos or perhaps something like Battlefield. But regardless, Apollo misspacing his side beyond Dill Shield is going to get a little bit punished for that. We're going to see plenty of kill slide approaching, although I would like to see a bit of the aerial pressure that Bayonetta can put out because Dill's going to be running back and forth as best as he can, try to equalize a lot of that damage because one touch and Apollo is able to get so much damage. Look at this already, 87%. Right away, like going with the really aggressive side B off of Legend, unable to convert anything off of it, gonna have his disadvantage perpetuated. And right now, ooh, Apollo was trying to land with the Witch Time onto the Gyro, but unfortunately mistimed it a little bit too early. Yeah, we're probably gonna see a harder zoning game than combo game when it comes to uh, Rob in this matchup. Just because there's no reason for Dill to like, actively press onto Bayonetta. Even though he does have some buttons that let him get aggro in close range, it's so risky, especially at these higher percentages. And then likewise, Bayonetta has plenty of tools to keep a distance if she wants to. And if she managed to get the one confirmed, a back air or a down air, I guess, at this yep. percentage, is all that he really needs. And I really, really just want to just like take a second to appreciate the pace that both of these players are like, taking the game. You see neither of them wanting to be like a little too hasty with their approaches. Both of them are like just like really, really waiting out what the opponent is going to do first. More, more so like a standoff and Dill with the falling neutral like, not enough to take out Apollo stock quite yet. And also Dill trying to get an up air, but Apollo ready to drift away and jump away. And the way that Apollo's just been mixing his recovery is beautiful, but getting the side B into a back air, sitting at 183%. And Bayonet is definitely a character who can benefit a lot off of Rage. Definitely. You don't get to keep your Rage when you have to eat a, a down air that's active for five frames. And not just that, but Bayonetta has maybe one of like the worst, like bi biggest problems like snapping to ledge in the game. And as I say that, Bayonetta also shows off a little bit of her... <laughs> A recovery of when you don't have your second double jump. Um, that can be a really, really dangerous scenario. Well, while the pride of Bayonetta has always been her combo game, the resource management needed to play an effective Bayonetta is something that Bayo players do not get enough credit for. Yep. Keeping track of like how many witch twists you have, how many jumps you can manage, your directional air dodge, it's a lot at once. And Dill managed to smother it all out of Apollo. Yep. And not just a lot at once, but maybe a little too much for Apollo there for, um, for game one. So. Oh, Stretch is asleep in the back. Uh, oh, goodness, but um, jumping into the next game. Um, I feel like we might definitely see the character switch coming from Apollo. Um, he got two SDs in a row. Maybe he's not fully comfortable. Maybe he's not completely warmed up with Bayonetta right now to be making most use out of her. So I won't be surprised if we see the Duck Hunt pick or perhaps a little a little something something else. Um, but Stop fantastic music choice. I, just this is, I love the house preview. <laughs> so calm. It's so it's so comfortable, but Apollo actually going to be sticking with the Bayonetta. Um, yeah, when he, when he did get to play, the Bayo was working. Yep, like he was doing a fine job. It's just a matter of you know maintaining those resources off stage. It's clear that he wants to wait out certain situations from Rob, and mm -hmm. I don't blame him. But got to be a little bit careful, especially if Dill's going to try to force the uh, situation down your throat. Yep. And right now you see him trying to get something started with, I believe those are the forwarders, but um, Dill is able to low profile just about under every single one of them. Um, Dill is like showing off a little bit of his matchup experience right now. And wow, that Ooh. was amazing. D just like abusing the fact that Apollo couldn't snap to ledge there because he bounced off of the gyro. He didn't necessarily get hit by it, but he bounced off of it and then got hit by a spike. And I love this good cover mix from Dill right now. Oh my goodness. Finally touching the ground, gets his fuel back, and that was a really good start for Dill. Yep. Proving that he doesn't just need games handed to him in order to take them, but he's going to have to make that up for the rest of these stocks. And I want to assume for the best that Apollo is not going to take this lightly. Like going two SDs into getting zero to death, and now getting heavily pressured now. Dill is looking really comfortable in this matchup. 
I'm really, really surprised that the neutral beat didn't connect there, but definitely working out for Apollo, able to connect the back out. And right now, this is his stock to take it. This is his ledge, ledge to control. A great, like, lead for, like, the desperation to get back onto center stage with the side be there. So I love that option coverage from Apollo, ready to catch one of Dill's forward airs. And that is something that makes Dill so particularly menacing when he gets back onto stage. The way he saves his jump, the way he mixes up his upbeat timing, he will jump at you aggressively out of nowhere. If Apollo can force the mid to high recoveries more, I would love to see more pulling climbers right now where it's just a rob show. This is an amazing play from Dill right now. So technical, just like so like really, really just like focused on like what can this character do with the gyros. Um, and right now Apollo has to take this stock really, really quickly. Dipping low isn't necessarily the ah. All right. And that is how it ends for this one. Dill taking a very solid yeah. zero, but maybe not the cleanest. USDs from Apollo going to show that the Bayonetta isn't quite as ready yet, but give him a little bit of time, maybe shake a little bit of the nerves. It could have yeah. been a nerves thing. And I would I would love to see more Bayo from Apollo. Um, yeah, no, when his, like, when I've seen his Bayonetta a little bit before, when he does, like, get something going, his ledge trapping is phenomenal. It's and just, dangerous. like, the way he's able to, like, keep you off stage for so long is is genuinely terrifying. But